Hey folks, welcome to ADSR. I'm Stephen Ellistad. Make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel and follow on social media for all kinds of great production content. In this tutorial, I wanted to take a look at Machine's Drum Synth. It's a really powerful way of making drum tones that some people overlook. It can really open up the creative possibilities for you in working on your beats. While we can get to it through the, the browser window, etc., I prefer to just generally come into a sound and insert a drum synth. And we'll see that we have a number of different options because we have different basic modes. And so we'll go ahead and grab a kick here. And if I you can hear that kick. So every single drum synth is going to have a number of different engines to choose from. Uh, sub, Tronic, Dusty, Grit, etc., etc. Uh, for the kick drum, and they're gonna change. And we can adjust things like the tuning. So we can tune it. Adjust the decay. And we have a couple different varieties of how, say, uh, the attack works on this kick. And so we can really do some cool shaping here. And one of the things that I like to do is, let's go ahead and shorten up our pattern real quick. We'll make this a little one bar. And let's go ahead and we'll lay in some four on the floor. And so we can come in here and choose, say, the Tronic, which is a little more of an electronic pitch. Adjust all kinds of cool parameters. One thing that I like to do then is to actually select that, copy it, or Command C, and then Command V to paste it. And now I've got a layered kick. Maybe I can get rid of two of those, for example, and now maybe put this one to sub and put this one to maybe grit. And now we've got some different layering of our kicks really simply. So the possibility is really, especially if you adjust tuning or decay, really are kind of endless. And of course, just with everything, we can always automate anything from the decay to say the tuning in real time. And I'm just clicking on the outside ring, and now as I hit play, I adjust the parameters. So that's kind of an extreme case, but you get the idea of some of the things we can do just by layering a couple of kicks. And I'm gonna clear that automation just by right-clicking or control-clicking on the outside ring. But we can also come in here and there's some great versions in the snare kit. We have a couple different engines, not as many, but a number of, of nice characters from really electronic ones to some pretty vintage sounding ones. And so, again, tune it down, add a little tail to it, maybe tune it and adjust the impact. And if we don't like that, maybe try the And some of these have this, this gate function, which will let me do a long decay and then chop it off. And so I really encourage you to get in there and adjust them. You'll notice some parameters stay the same depending on the engine. So it really depends on the engine. So one cool thing I haven't showed you yet is if we flip over to the mix window, and now I can just hit tab on my keyboard, we can actually select that particular instrument and we have a nice visual interface where we can adjust the, the decay looking at the tail of the envelope. Adjust the average velocity uh, as well as the attack and the pitch bend parameters. And here's our tuning right here. Now we can actually work by a particular note. So that's really useful for, say, matching it to the key of your song. And we can access parameters. And so this is one nice way to do that. And we can always, of course, from in here, go just like that and select one. And so we'll choose a hi-hat. And the hi-hat has a couple of different options in the engine, silver, circuit, memory, and hybrid. And these are, these are a little newer in 2.3. And so now if I flip back over and we'll just add some of these real quick.
And so let's first, let's bring that down just a little bit, go to the output level down. And so back to our plugin, now we can see that we have the silver, um, we have our tuning, we have our gate as well, so we can get that nice choppy hat. Maybe add a little bit of noise and energy. So lots of cool stuff we can do there. In the memory and the hybrid, we have even more parameters that we can play with here as far as tone and character go. So the hybrid is designed to be a hybrid of an analog and a digital, so we can kind of hear that partially open hi-hat. And so the strike here is actually the, the virtual impact of the stick hitting the hi-hat. So some cool stuff there. In my next video, I'll move on to some of the other elements inside of the drum synth, including cymbals and working with the percussion elements. So make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel and follow on social media. And if you have any questions, please do leave them on the YouTube page. Thanks again. I'm Steven Ellistad, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.